Hey team, I've just brought you across to Facebook. Thank you for bearing with me. I hope this is all working the way it should because we love technology. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, guys. I am Shana X Lee, and today um, I'm probably full of energy because I've just finished the gym. So today we're talking a little bit about um, the conversations around getting into the gym. And uh, I know that for a lot of us, it's a lot about making the time for it and I'm here not in my professional outfit because I wanted to kind of speak to that for the moment is um, a lot of us allow that to be the problem or the reason why we don't get into the gym or take action with what we know we should be doing like scheduling becomes uh, very difficult around children around family around obligations and I totally get that and um I think today was a perfect illustration that even as coaches, even as the health professionals that we are, sometimes we too are folding time trying to fit things in. So I've legitimately just raced in the door to uh, back from my gym, um, having done a, a nice big leg and back session. And um, it is tight sometimes to make those little time frames work for you. Um, but today I wanted to really touch on ensuring that you're going to get wouldn't it be better to get 80% results from just 20% effort? You know, we all have so many demands on ourselves every day that it's probably really bigger bang for buck to, to get more out of our time. So today I wanted to really quickly, I'm going to try and keep this as short as I can. And you luckily have got the coach that speaks the fastest. So I'm sorry for any of those that like to keep it slow. Uh, but today I wanted to quickly touch on each of the health types and how you best get in the gym and utilize your time effectively. So using our awesome PH360 wheel that we love and that you guys are all growing to become more familiar with, um, if we look at the side of the wheel which has our uh, purple, our sensors, our crusaders, our activators and most of our connectors, these are the ones, oh, sorry, these are the ones that are better off doing things in the morning or they can use the morning time to boost their metabolism and get about their day. They're the ones that do generally bounce out of bed quite quickly and effectively um, and have that little bit more energy. Some of our connectors more towards our guardians may not be so. Um, you guys actually, your pro, your profile. And if you're, if you're not sure, go into your application, your Shea application and click on the lifestyle wheel or the fitness wheel. And each of them will tell you what time to get moving. The fitness section, the fitness chronobiology wheel is the one that will help you to understand what better time to move your body and, and use your most energy. And quite often it will say, move a bit during the morning, but then it will say, empty your tank or, or go all out or go all in uh, later in the afternoon. So generally speaking, 98% of these guys will get best bang for buck by training between 1 and 6 p.m. Um, and I understand that some of us can't train until a little later in the day. And I too have been known to train uh, between 6 and 7 sometimes eight o'clock, but you've got to do what you've got to do and make it work around your life. Um, and ultimately we can allow these things to rule us or we can just accept what it is, roll with the punches and just get it done because ultimately your health and fitness is the, the crux of everything. And if you aren't willing to put in the time for this, you may not have, or you may not benefit from the time later that you're sacrificing by not um, putting in the time for your health and, and, and your fitness. Uh, plus which a strong body responds better to stress. Now, the other side of the wheel where you're looking at the, the connectors towards our guardians, our guardians and our diplomats and some of our sensors that are a bit more like our diplomats. Um, if you are if you're in the Yatla crew, um, I've been making sure I go through and I'll let you know sort of roughly where you're sitting on the wheel, just so you can get a bit of a better understanding of these things. If you are in our amazing New Zealand crews, don't worry. We have got... Um, we, we, we can always help you guys understand what number you actually are to know where specifically on the wheel. So I'm sure Sage is going through that with most of you as it is. If you haven't booked your coaching call, you're missing out. If someone is not on Facebook and you're buddied up with them and they're not understanding this or then they feel like they're not getting enough from the program, um, it really is up to you as the individual or you as their buddies to get them involved and remind these individuals that you will only get out of this what you put in. Understanding that these guys here are the ones that are best to sleep in. I've had several conversations today with some of our Yatla tribe and um, a lot of them have been saying they want to get up even earlier and go to the gym. And, and 
look, I get it. I've spent years in mining. I spent years uh, personal training, chefing, you name it. Um, and sometimes you really are pressed for time to get things done. And sometimes you might feel like the only way you can do it is by sacrificing more sleep and, and getting up even earlier. Um, for this side of the wheel, I promise you, you are better off to sleep. Um, I'm going to jump straight across to, no, no, I'll come back. I'll come back to recovery because there's something really important to do with that that we're, we're really going to touch on today. Now, these guys here are really good with our HIIT training. Now, connectors like more classes. Um, so it's actually more important to have someone to do it with or the camaraderie. These guys are actually the ones you will see in your crossfitting gyms. They're the ones that have like amazing solid bodies. They are actually incredibly strong because they've got a shorter body. They've got better mechanics or being able to lift far greater than the rest of us. These bodies here, the guardians and the diplomats, have got a strong body in general, but for the capacity of the size of these guys, they can lift like a beast, and it's incredible what you can do, but it must involve fun and camaraderie. The activators love a challenge. Anything that challenges them, it's more about going, I bet you can't do 15 push-ups, rather than, hey, would you like to do 15 push-ups? These guys down here, it's more about um, if fitness and health is their crusade, is their mission, then that is what they will do. And it's more, quite often these guys will be in triathlon styles um, in things that are more endurance based. Um, but they will quite often get involved in something if it's going to benefit the mission, the cause, or it's a challenge that is more about getting a bang for their buck. So if they've only got 20 minutes to go and train, maybe they'd prefer to go and do a HIIT training session where they know that it's going to boost their metabolism quickly and burn more calories. The sensors, quite often sensors may be in the gym doing some more um, hypertrophy style of training because they want to put on mass and size. You guys are on a long, slow, steady um, increase. Um, it's not like a, you won't get the results overnight. It's a slow and steady process. But remember that your bones in your body are quite lean and uh, more delicate. Um, these guys are the more artistic styles. These guys are better with um, dance, better with like all of our ballet people are sensors. Um, a lot of our Victoria's Secret models are sensors or activators. Just a little bit of a heads up there, a couple of crusaders on either side. Um, but just knowing that these guys are more about yoga, stretching and flexibility. You guys here in the crusader world, you need yoga and flexibility. You have a very rigid spine, just to be aware. Uh, our diplomats, which is me, we are the ones that, yes, we, a little secret that they probably prefer us not to tell you is that. Truth be told, a diplomat's probably not the greatest at running every day or getting out and doing cardio every day. Yep, I said it, not every day. In fact, for these bodies, it's more about the long, slow march. Uh, not that many of us could ever find a five-hour window to do this. I don't know any diplomat that could, but it's a comprehensive understanding of the ability that your body has. This body would actually be far greater at throwing a rucksack on and going for a five hour hike on the weekend rather than trying to bust yourself fitting in a 45 minute cardio session every other day. Bang for buck right there. These guys are also incredibly strong. Um, the hypertrophy style of training is very, very good for the diplomats. Longer rest, not as long as the guardians. The guardians need even longer again. But the, the diplomats, you're looking at about a minute, a minute 20 to two minutes of rest in between each set. Also very good at um, doing training with a partner, one partner where they can do one set each. Um, there is a strand of diplomat in the middle, which is my strand, that actually behave very much like these guys. So if they're training in the afternoon, evening, they actually enjoy a challenge. They actually enjoy... Uh, what we would call, uh, it's, called, it's called PHA training. And it's more about taking the body and training um, like a circuit training, but with bigger breaks than what these guys would get. So these guys, you'd just smash them. These guys, you'd give a little bit more rest time and break time. So that would be, um, and you'd create a circuit. So that would be upper body. So you'd do a chest exercise, followed by lunges, followed by rows, followed by goblet squats, followed by... Um, uh, followed by shoulder press and then followed by uh, V get ups or V sit ups with your abs and then just follow that circuit five times through but at the end of each circuit you rest for a minute or a minute and a half depending on the person does that make sense um, then you would also jump into the guardians now the guardians are I deal with a lot of clients and I'm going to drop this in here because I know guardians have a super hard time once they see their profile 
I have a lot of strong men who are my clients outside of this program. And as a tidbit for a lot of you is that the guardians are the ones that do need the least amount of protein that can actually synthesize greens. Yes, I said the G word can synthesize greens the most effective out of any other health type because their digestive tract is the longest. I have taken two strong men off of their paleo and keto diets and 10 X their results within just a couple of months. Your body is the best at processing food. Therefore it actually doesn't require as much as the world would have you think. That being said, these are the strong men and the strong women who naturally can just lift the world. You guys have got a heart of gold. You've got a solid body that can carry the world and you have the ability to look after everybody else. So just remember that you have a body that is capable of lifting, but I do understand that some of you may not yet be in a relationship with going to the gym and doing the fitness, uh, but slow and steady wins a race. Take your time, take it easy um, and reach out to any of us coaches if you want a little bit of guidance or motivation but also remember that each and every one of you will eventually or has already got a um, accountability partner and i really would urge you to utilize that as best as you can um by the way you've all got a challenge of ensuring that we get a bit of a gym buddy picture so the um the new zealand crew you guys were given the challenge of um finding a gym buddy and we would love for you all to share your pictures with your gym buddy as a selfie, um, encouraging each and every one of you to do that. The more, like I said, the more you put, get put in, the more you get out. And the more you guys encourage each other, we know the more of you will get involved. Um, the feedback I've actually gotten from the Yatla crew, an astonishing, astonishing percentage of you are actually wishing to have a little bit more camaraderie, a little bit more involvement of the community and the group as a whole. And so that's, really what we're trying to facilitate here so just remember that maybe you don't always feel like being involved but there are workmates around you that actually really want this um and you know what there's no harm in trying and uh all you're doing is creating a better community vibe throughout the workplace and throughout the health and fitness area of your um of your environment at work as well now let's talk about the 80 i was talking about 80 percent effort the 20 percent reward Utilize your chronobiology wheel. I kid you not, if you can just stick to those wheels and try and tweak your day so that you're honoring your food wheel, you're honoring your fitness wheel and your sleeping times, you will be getting better bang for buck. You'll be getting 80% effort out of 20%, sorry, 80% reward out of 20% effort. The last one is recovery. The recovery, and don't worry, we're getting to the winner in a second. The recovery side of things, these guys will go. Activators, let's start with activators. Activators are like the roller coaster. What comes up must come down. The activators are the ones that need to give everything. I mean, give an absolute burst of energy, everything you've got, but then make sure you have equal amount of rest. So up, give it everything, stop, drop, and roll, right? Our connectors, you guys have the ability of just going. Like you guys are like the Tassie devil, but in a good way. You guys are like the Tassie happy devil. You go, go and go and go and go and go. You will actually recharge and recover around other people. I know it sounds kind of bizarre, but you will. You will recover faster by being around really good people. I actually did a live on my private page today and I was talking about the factor of being, you cannot be stuck in the mud and cry to get clean. You have to keep yourself around good positive energy, good positive people and enjoy what's going on around you because you guys will recover via osmosis. Um, and osmosis is like whatever is around you, you will absorb. Um, then we come into our guardians. Our guardians um, are the strongest and your recovery phase will take a little bit longer. Your lungs generally are your strongest and your weakest at the same time. You all need to, and I, I give this to every client I come across who's a guardian, remember to breathe as deeply as you can, as frequently as you can, because it will give you more life, more vitality and better recovery. So please make sure that you are really doing good breathing. Um, your body is strong. Uh, and like I said, if you can stop your body from having to process ridiculous amounts of meat, your body will actually recover every aspect of who you are much faster than you've ever experienced before, but trust in the process. Diplomats. 
You guys are the ones that we are the ones that are the Trojan horses. We will go and go and go and go and go and go until eventually everything stops down on us. And these guys are the ones that actually frequently end up in hospital once a year or once every two years where they've just burnt themselves out. So remembering diplomats, um, I would urge you all to go into your place section and check out down the bottom where it says your ideal time for recovery in the year, your ideal um, climate for recovery, and also your, and everyone can do this to get a little bit of a tidbit of what's gonna be best for you. If you haven't yet looked at your place section, please jump into that and do so. Um, but your diplomats are definitely, your recovery needs to happen every two or three months. Take a week off, get some r and get out in nature, put your toes in the sand, whatever it might be, spend some quality time once every three months, but you guys are incredible at just going and going. Fences, you guys are really in tune. You actually generally know what you need when you need it. But please remember that you don't always have to push yourself to be part of the tribe and part of the activities and whatnot. Solitude is your best friend. Quiet, desensitize yourself. If you're a sensor and you're not actually recuperating on your own in some neutral light, neutral color, um, without too much noise and chaos, um, it's essential to your health. If you don't get that, your recovery will be next to nothing. Um, your ability to keep going will get less. And crusaders, finally, for recovery, our crusaders are the Trojan horse at the same time. Uh, sorry, the race horse, the race horse. You guys have got your blinkers on and you will go and go and go and go. And as much as you might think that rest and recovery and eating effectively is beyond your requirement, if you don't do these things, you will eventually topple over the edge. You guys are incredible at doing things. And when you're on the mission, you are, you are focused and you are committed. But you must fuel the car or the beast or the horse. You must fuel these things to get an effective result and an effective um, effort or output. So if you aren't putting the right amount in, you will not get what you want out. Therefore, you're rendering your time and energy ineffective. So you may as well do the right thing follow your chronobiology wheels and just put the effort into those sections that you need. Stay strong to your mission. If you're a crusader without a mission, we have a problem. So please, and that could be your family. That could be your work. That could be bike riding on the weekend. That could be surfing. That could be BMXing. Whatever your thing is, there is something that motivates you. So tap into that and go for it. And the other one is a lot of people talk to me about not getting enough sleep and wondering about whether they should go train the next day. If you don't have enough sleep and then you go and try and train, you are throwing your body into adrenal fatigue immediately. You are asking for more than what your body has. So even though you're training, you're training your body in an extended, extensive stress state and you will not get the result that you're wanting. In fact, it will take longer for your body to recover. It will, um, your body will become quite um, acidic. Um, the recovery won't happen. Your outputs won't happen. Um, your mindset won't happen. I've watched so many people not sleep effectively, train and throw themselves into things like depression and anxiety. So just really know your boundaries and understand that your body needs to recuperate. And if you're not getting the recuperation, I would prefer and your body would prefer if you would just spend the time sleeping. Uh, and finally, finally, drum roll, is the winner of our Yatla site. Now, Yatla, it was about getting in, being involved, participating, showing up. Um, and we were going to choose a winner from the Yatla site where yours truly will be cooking you a week worth of meals designed specifically for your health type. Um, I will try and do recordings this weekend um, whilst I make these so we can understand a little bit more about what I've done through the process. But our winner is Mr. Luke Riding. Um, you came up out of our list. It was a random, use the internet flick thing so it can find the random person. And uh, Luke, you have won the prize. So this weekend I will be cooking that and it will be delivered on Monday. So please know that you don't have to cook over the weekend and your lunches are done specific to you. Um, I will reach out in the next day or so and have a quick chat around some things that you like or don't like. Um, and I'll be tailoring it to more of what you used to but on a healthier side so that you can really see how easy it is to integrate your health type living um, and honor your body but also enjoy flavor at the same time 
So I'm going to cut it there, guys. I hope you've had a really good time listening to this. I would love to hear your thoughts and feelings around it. And um, anything, any questions, anything that came up, um, as always, you have our undivided attention. Have an epic week and keep it real. And like I said, life comes up. Sometimes we're all squeezing things in, but make sure you're squeezing the right things in at the right time and prioritizing your health because uh, if you don't do it, no one else is going to do it. So make that a priority. Have an awesome week, guys.